The homegoing service for Mother Betty Rose Crisp will be held Tuesday, September 24th at noon with visitation at 11 a.m. here at the church. All men are encouraged to join Elder Anthony Wilson and the men's department for our monthly prayer call to be held Tuesday, September 24th at 6 a.m. The number to participate is 605-313-5563 and the access number is 447-448. Be sure to mute your phone when dialing in and be advised that you do not have to announce yourself. Make plans to be in place next Sunday, September 29th, as the Mega Youth Choir sings to the glory of God. To prepare, there will be a choir rehearsal on Monday, September 23rd at 7 p.m. and Saturday, September 28th at noon. Youth of all ages are welcome to join and represent Generation Now in a big way. The next meeting of the Mother's Board will be held Sunday, September 29th at 9.30 a.m. Please plan to meet in the Fellowship Hall. Join Superintendent Will Nichols and the Greater Triangle District for a fifth Sunday gathering to be held September 29th at 6 p.m. The theme is Marriage and Family and will include a panel discussion with all of the district pastors and first ladies. The service will be held at Victorious Praise Church of God in Christ. For additional information, visit victoriouspraise.org. Attention all Easy Tithe users, please complete an envelope for your transactions and include your name along with funds allocation and also write paid on Easy Tithe. First time users should also include an email address. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Hello, I'm Bishop Charles E. Blake Sr. Many have asked how you can help with the terrible disaster in the Bahamas. You can do so by supporting the 2019 Laity Campaign. The International Missions Department, funded through the Laity Campaign, with assistance from Kojic Charities, is taking the lead in our continued response to this devastating tragedy. I am pleased to announce that over $100,000 of supplies and assistance is being provided to the people of the Bahamas. Our first shipment of emergency supplies has already arrived in the Bahamas. Your support of this year's Led to Campaign is crucial. I'm asking every pastor and member to join me in this effort to receive a $20 offering. Churches can forward their Led to offering directly to the address on the screen. My beloved Church of God in Christ, I am counting on your help. Men and women, get ready for the second annual North Carolina 3rd Women's Convention to be held Wednesday, September 25th through Friday, September 27th here at the North Carolina 3rd Headquarters, the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Activities for the week begin Tuesday, September 24th at 6.30 p.m. when the Ladies of the King's Court will host a meet and greet with First Lady Pamela Wooden and North Carolina 3rd Supervisor Mother Beverly DeJournay. This event is for ladies ages 12 to 21. Prepare for an evening of food, fun, and fellowship at the White Deer Park Nature Center located at 2400 Avisboro Road in Garner. You don't want to miss this time of wisdom and impartation. Wednesday morning, September 25th, join us at 10 a.m. for an hour of prayer followed by a morning worship service. That evening, we will honor our jurisdictional first lady, Pamela Wooden. The requested attire for ladies is pink or pink accessories. Speakers for the week include Greater North Carolina Supervisor of Women, Mother Harazine Keys on Wednesday night. For the Thursday day session, our speaker will be North Carolina Third Supervisor of Women and the President of the Women's Convention, Mother Beverly DeJournay. And on Thursday night, get ready for evangelist Maxine Kershaw from Columbia, South Carolina. We will conclude the conference Friday with official night. Our speaker will be our jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Well, I better tell him that the law will make a way somehow. Men and women are welcome to attend the day services. Registration is only $25 and includes lunch daily. To register online, visit nc3rd.org, where additional information is available. Registration for the Women's Conference is also available after today's service in the vestibule.